Hey everyone, welcome! This is Dutch Dragon and you're looking at the introduction screen of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's the new game, it plays in the industrial area. Uh, not my favorite place in time, but from what I hear the game is really good, a lot better than uh, Unity. I uh, only played Unity for a few hours, never really uh, got into it. But I'm uh, excited to start this one. And, um, well, let's not waste any more seconds on some introduction. I'm gonna press A and start the game. I hope you enjoy. The past is your playground. Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Okay, and here we go. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. Great intro, as far as I can tell. The iron ships from here. 
The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the creed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. How long does he intend to go on like this? He's disrupting the other workers. Shut his trap and get the machine fixed. Send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. Laudanum is some sort of drug that they used in these times. It sedates you. So. Let me do something about the sound first because uh, it's a bit hard and you won't be able to hear me. Let's try it like this. Uh, keep the subtitles on and return. All right. So, um, reach Ferris. That's all we gotta do. He's on the other side. So, um, let's go. I guess. I think I can walk here. Yeah. And there we are. Very easy. Locked. What do you think you're doing? Stop now! Before there's trouble! No one goes in or out, unless there's a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. <laughs> so, sabotage. Yeah. And back we go. So, yeah, currently. Let's hope no one dies because of my uh, handiwork. That would be unfortunate. like we're releasing a lot of steam into the machines or cutting it out completely either way the machine will stop oh. and there we go it's shut down And there we go. This man is dead. 
You're the dead man. Run along home. I'll teach you how to beg for mercy. Um. Oh, that's one hell of a timing. <laughs> My battery died. Okay, time for combat. Time to run, I think. And there you have it. London at its finest. Time to head for higher ground. Camera angle is a bit um, annoying. Detection. Okay, time to see cover. High ground. Can't yet. Have to, have to sneak out first. So where can I hide? That should do it. I still think I'm down there, so it should be safe here. Yep. Anonymous again. Let's go in up there. Should do it. Come on, damn this cam this camera is really annoying. That's my timer, but I'll uh, reach the guy first. Yeah, much better. There we go. No, don't jump up. It takes some getting used to, but here we are. Stealth. Do it. Headshot. 
<laughs> Weird, the workers don't seem to be alarmed. <laughs> like something that happens every day. I hope for their sake it doesn't happen every day, but they don't look very troubled. Now, where do we go? Let's go up. I don't seem to mind I'm walking here. Can I go through? Nope. Ah, there we are. Let's go up, and it should get us where we want to be. Yep. Here we go. Is that the guy we're looking for? No. He's up there. Alright. So let's move the other way. We can go in there, all right. He likes to grab everything he can find. <laughs> Rupert Ferris Ironworks. Sounds like the man we need. Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. There you have it. Life in the industrial area. All right, I'm gonna end the first episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. As you can see, I'm still a bit uh, squishy with the controls and uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out in the many episodes to come. I hope you like this series. I'm looking forward to play it with you guys. So uh, hope to see you soon. Goodbye.